Hi, this is Justice. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the UI inside of Rebel 5. Now, there's a handful of new things, and I want to point those out. We have a record time lapse option here. We have a mixing palette. We have tablet mode, and we have a few other things in here. So what we're going to talk about is how to resize, how to save, and a few other things. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to close this. And we're going to go to Window, and we're going to Reset Layout to Default. Yes, we're going to do this, and let's close. All right, so now we have a default layout. And if you want to move any of the different boxes, make them larger or smaller, what you can do is you can go right in between these two. You can drag up and down. If you want to change the location of a panel, click on its blue name. And you can drag it up, you can drag it down. It'll snap to different places. You can put it here in the middle of the screen. And then if you want, you can uh, close it over here and then open it again from window here. So let's turn color set back on and we're gonna drag it back to its original position. There we go. Okay, now all of these you can call up with a keyboard shortcut and you can see that keyboard shortcut right here next to the name. Now let's go ahead and drag the color set out and I'm gonna point at a couple different things here. Open panel menu. These context menus are different for each of the different panels. So here you can see this context menu is showing us different options for color, different options for tilt, different options for color set. All right, so let's go over here to edit and preferences. If you want to adjust the scale, you can adjust it larger here. You check this option here, allow to dock panels on the top and bottom. If we grab one of these, we can bring it up to the very top and dock it up here. Bring this back to where it was. Now let's say you have created a UI, you have everything exactly where you want it, and you want to save it, you can go over here to Window and you can export your layout. Let's say, let's say Justice's cool layout, and we click Save. Then we move these about which is how normal people say things. And let's go ahead and import. Let's import it, open, and you're gonna see it's gonna put it right back to where it was. So I like that, that's a really nice feature to have. Now inside of Rebel 5, there is now tablet mode. Tablet mode, I love, I use the tablet all the time. And this has got a couple really great features. So I use tablet mode with the artist pad, and this allows me to do a handful of different things. So I'm going to demonstrate that real quickly. Here, desktop and tablet mode, you have the option of opening the panels under the cursor in the last position or in the center of the screen. Under the cursor is going to put it under wherever you clicked last. In the last position, I think is clear to understand in the center of the screen. Also, it's just going to open it up every single time in the center of the screen. I really like this. Show only one panel at once when in tablet mode. This is fantastic. So here, we're going to put this here in the center, and then I'm going to open up another panel. Instead of having to close the prior one, this is going to allow me to open and close one at a time. It keeps the UI nice and free and open, which is really nice. Always undock the panels instead of hiding when tablet mode is off. So here, let's go ahead and turn this on and click OK. We're going to turn off tablet mode. We'll hide tablet pro. And here, if I'm pressing a keyboard shortcut, say uh, F5, this is keeping this from hiding. It's going back in the side panel. And if this is turned off, it will just hide in the UI instead of toggling its position. Now there's another option here. Open the floating panels on the display with Rebel's main window. So some of the windows in Rebel use a different title, and what that does is that deactivates Rebel, and that can cause uh, you to have to click the screen an extra time, click the canvas an extra time just to activate it. So what this does is this keeps this so that Rebel stays activated because this is part of the same window title. A little bit fancy, but basically it smooths out a couple of the transitions when you're jumping in between windows inside of Rebel. Now, if you're working inside of Rebel and you're going through these menus, you accidentally are dragging them, you can choose 
lock panels. This is going to keep this from accidentally moving around. You don't have to worry about uh, any of that rescaling or moving out of place. If you're familiar working inside of Windows programs, you're going to be familiar with the file menu up here. So you're going to see file, edit, layer, filter, view, window, community, and then right here is help. You can choose help F1. This will open up the website to the manual, which is really fantastic. It has a table of contents that is clickable. It'll take you directly to that section with great documentation to explain how things work. You can also go here, click on video tutorials, and it'll bring you to the Escape Motions YouTube page. All right, you guys, that's it for the UI. If you have questions, put it in the comments section. Again, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.